Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this IT support ticket dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this IT support dashboard. This is the overview page and on the left hand side and on the right hand side, we have the slicers to filter the data. And then here we are showing the total number of ticket received. And this is the average resolution time, average satisfaction score, and this is the open ticket, and these are the urgent ticket. Then we are showing the, here the resolved percentage and uh, number of tickets by ticket status. And this is the in progress ticket. Then we are showing the open versus cl closed ticket by the month. Then on the top, we have given the navigation pan the second page is the issue analysis so to go to the issue analysis page you can click on this button so now this is the issue analysis page again here we have the slicer on the left and on the right we are showing here average satisfaction score by the issue type this is the resolve percentage by the issue type and this is the in progress percentage by the issue type you can filter the data by location Let's click on any location to filter the data. Let's say I want to see the data for branch A or for branch B. Accordingly, it will filter the data or you can just select the closed tickets only or escalated open or you can see by the department also. Then accordingly, data will be filtered. You can see even you can see by month and you can select the year also from the top. So you can filter the data as per your requirement and then let's say if you want to see the priority level analysis then you can simply click on this button. This is the priority analysis and again here we are showing the average satisfaction score by the priorities. We have taken the four priorities that is low, medium, high and urgent. Number of tickets by the priority level we can see here and this is the in progress percentage by the priority and this is the open versus closed by the priority. Okay. And then again you can filter let's say I want to see by the issue type, hardware issue, network, email, software. Okay. Then you can filter that. Next is the technician performance. Here we are showing the technician performance. So we have taken the few names in the technician name. And this is the in progress percentage by assigned to. This is the resolve percentage by assigned to and number of ticket by assigned to. Okay. And you can see by month also. Let's say I want to see in a particular month. Then I can see that. Or I want to see the tickets for a particular department. I can see that also. Or you can see it by locations also. Next is the location based analysis and here we are taking the few locations like remote, branch A, branch B, head office, etc. In progress percentage by the location, we are showing here number of tickets by the location and then we are showing here resolve percentage by the location, open ticket by the location. Okay. So this is what we have created in this dashboard. Now I will show you how you can update the data in this dashboard and you can simply refresh to show the data in the dashboard pages. First let's go to the file and options then click on the advance here and just scroll it down. Display option for this workbook just check this so seat tabs and click on ok. Now at bottom we can see all the seat tabs whatever we have created. So these five seat tabs for the dashboard page, then we have a data seat tab. Here we are showing the data that is ticket ID, then employee name, department, issue type, priority, ticket status, ticket open date, ticket close date, assigned to, ticket resolution time in hours, satisfaction score 1 to 5, location. Here we have created few formulas to create the pivot table and the calculated fields and to create the slicers also like we are creating month on the basis of ticket date we have used here text function you can see then we are taking the year on the basis of ticket open date we have used the year function. This is the total ticket and this is the resolved ticket and this is the in progress ticket close ticket 
and open ticket okay so we have put the if function according to the status and then we are showing here so this is the data you just need to simply delete this data and put your own data just keep the same headers and just append the data here and once you have insert the data then you need to go to the data sheet tab and here you can just click on refresh all as you click on the refresh all button after pasting your data automatically dashboard will take the new data and everything will be refreshed automatically you don't need to do anything here now let me show you the support sheet also in the support sheet we have created few pivot tables here we have put the name of the page or the sheet so that we can show you these all pivot table for the overview page we are showing here number of tickets, resolution time and uh, some other pivot table to create the charts and the cards. Now let me show you the other page also like issue analysis. Then we have created here some other pivot tables for issue analysis page. Then priority analysis page. This is for the technician performance page and it is for the location based analysis page okay so we have created all pivot tables here now let me show you how we have created this design this is the normal rectangles which we have created as of now this seat is protected so you can simply go to the review and just say unprotect seat as you say unprotect seat automatically the seat will be unprotected without asking any password because we have protected this without using the password. Now here we have created these various chart. This is the battery chart and here we have used some images inside the chart and here also. Let me show you how we have created this type of chart. So you can just simply go to the support sheet and you can see we have taken the pivots here like month wise open ticket and the close ticket. Okay so what you can do you can simply insert a chart here and let's take this chart after taking this chart you can just place this chart here first let's go to the field button and just say hide all now double click on the legend and move it to the bottom make this slightly bigger and put the chart title here you can remove the grid lines if you want put the chart title here as you want let's say I'm putting here number of open tickets versus number of closed tickets by month okay so this is in month is the descending order if you want to change this you can just click on the month right click sort by ascending order so you can see it is sorted in ascending order automatically it will reflect on the chart this is the pivot chart okay now here if you want to show this type of arrow you can just come here and let's insert the arrow from these shapes just go to the shapes and let's take this up arrow here and just click here now you can choose the color whatever you want let's say i'm taking this color and you can go to the safe fill again gradient and let's take some dark gradient this one and just make the duplicate of this press ctrl d and just put it that here and let's take some lighter color this time let's say i'm taking this one then gradient and let's say i'm taking this if you want to remove the shape outline for both of the shapes you can just say no outline now let's copy this arrow and paste here on the open ticket and let's copy this arrow and paste here on the close ticket columns so as you select and paste automatically that arrow shape will reflect on the chart you can right click and go to the format data series and just decrease the gap bit to show the say properly and a series overlap let's make them slightly closer okay then you can add the data labels also from here just add the data labels 
so that is how we have created this chart here and uh, you can just paste that chart in the seat wherever you want to create this type of design we have simply used the rectangles let me add a new seat here and uh, just go to the view and check the grid lines from here and just insert a shape this type of shape you can take this one also and just drag that here pick the yellow handle move to the left hand side and you can choose some lighter color like this or you can take more lighter also or you can just go to the right click and uh, right click and go to the format shape and fill and just increase the transparency so that you can make this color slightly lighter okay now let's insert here another shape so you can just make the duplicate of this press ctrl d so we have taken the same rectangle and just make this a smaller and place here like this pick the yellow handle and move to the left hand side so that you can adjust the corner with the existing one and here you can fill some darker color like this color and right click go to the format shape and make sure transparency should be zero for this top uh, rectangle okay and here if you want to take some gradient then you can take some gradient. so this is what we have created now you can just add this type of rectangles also so you can just make the duplicate again this one and let's keep this here and make this smaller let us place this here now we can say shape outline is no outline shape fill you can take the slightly lighter color let's say this color so we have created like this and you can make this slightly bigger also if you want and then you can just fill here uh, text like i'm putting here overview and just align this center center and make sure text color should be black now you can make this duplicate and let's put this here and then you can put the other also so whatever you want and you can change the text name text uh, value like uh, issue analysis priority analysis and the other and after that you can just fill here no fill and font color you can take here white color okay so that is how we have created this one and on the next page you can highlight the next and you can make here no fill to create the hyperlink you can simply just click on the rectangle and press ctrl k and go to the place in this document and just select the page let's say i'm selecting overview now if i click on this it will take me to the overview page all right so that is how we have created this design Friends, if you want to learn more about how we have created the advanced level of charts and how we have created this type of pivot tables here, you can join our Udemy course. We have given the link in the video description box. Inside that course, we have explained each and everything in detail that how you can create the calculated field in the pivot table, how you can create the custom slicers like this, how you can create the advanced level of the charts also. So you can join our course we have given the practice file also in the course so you can practice with me inside that course all right so you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching